everyone, and welcome to another Momidani Minecraft EDU project video. I am Mr. A, of course, and today I'm going to be showing you just how I get one of my maps that I've created into my main Mistcraft world. So, first of all, what we're going to do is open up the world. I just happen to have the server running already. We're going to open up the world that we're trying to connect to, or that we're trying to import. Uh, shh, don't see my password. Go ahead, log in. And log in. Okay, so this is a world that I'm going to import so right now it's basically just a simple map that I use to with the kids I call it my sandbox map and I can do anything from equivalent fractions in here to showing them algebra to addition and multiplication anything like that this particular one is set up to do um, equivalent fractions so uh, you'll see spawn block. So this is an isolated map right now. Currently this map is, like I said, just on its own. Nothing special. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just take the coordinates of this spawn point right here. So now, if you see in my top right corner, you'll see the coordinates. So I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, of course, I don't have any paper, but I'm going to go ahead and write those coordinates down. Okay, good. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and I like to do this because I think it causes less problems for me but you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and clear up my inventory here and I usually in my Momilani world maps I take this and I put that there. Uh, having two spawn blocks in a Mistcraft world tends to kind of sort of cause some problems. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to switch over to the server. I'm going to hit save. Okay, so we're back. I'm now currently just going to log into my main map, which for me is my um, version A of my Momidani MCEDU map. And you'll see I am in my computer lab, which is actually my Mistcraft headquarters in my computer map. So, you know, directions on how to build all the books, things like that. My new portal system, which allows me to put any book in there and teleport. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to create a book and we're going to go ahead and see um, if we can create a Miscraft age that mimics what we had in the other world. So, oops, I'm going to need some paper. All right, so here we go. So, I'm going to create, uh, honestly, it does not really matter because it was just a plain kind of map, so I'm going to just do a single biome map that's made out of planes, planes, there we go, planes, single biome, and we'll go ahead and pick uh, dark moon, dark stars, normal sun, because we actually don't ever want this the moon and stars to come out, okay, uh, we do not want weather on that map. And I'm going to go ahead and pick normal lighting. I'm going to pick. Mm, 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 mm. I think I want zenith and I want zero length, which means the sun should not move. Uh, none of this stuff I need. Black, I don't need colors. We're just going to hope all the other stuff will work, out, work itself out. Uh, these things I like to add just because, not because I'm going to use them, but because it helps with some of the instability. So I'm going to put dungeons and mine shafts in there, which we won't see, and villages as well. Good. Uh, caves, floating island, ravine, skylands, sphere, or tendrils. We're just going to pick none of those. And a cave world, a flat world, an island world, standard terrain, or a void world. We're going to, of course, pick a flat world. And boundless sky. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to bring this into a standard terrain world. Okay. All right. Boundless sky color. I like to pick all of the natural colors for my world, unless I'm looking for something specific, which I'm not in this case. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick none of this this stuff because that's crazy and finish with clear modifiers. All right. Now, if you guys are better at building witchcraft mages than I am, please, you can make comment and let me know what I need to fix and adjust. All right. So what I'm looking for now is we always have to end with 
and we have to start our book now with a, a link page. Okay, put my clear modifier page. This is strictly, by the way, what I'm doing right now is just strictly what how I like to do just to keep it straight and ordered in my mind. So on the bottom, I'm putting all the natural colors here. Good, standard terrain over here. Um, page flat, we do not want page flat this time. Put all my things that I added and changed in here. Okay, now we do zero length. We do zenith. Uh, normal lighting can stay there. Uh, normal lighting, no weather. Okay, normal sun, so zero length, zenith, normal sun, dark moon, and dark stars. Move these over, which is our planes, and our single biome, put our file in here. That should be good. Let's go ahead and test it out. Put it over here. We're going to call this book, um, what did I call this map? The Sandbox, that's right. The sandbox. Here we go. Take my descriptive book, pop it in here. Ooh, magic. All right. I'm also going to go ahead and get myself a link book. And just for now, I'm just going to link it right here. So good. Turns green. We're ready to go. Let's step through and see what happens. All right. Here we are. We are up on a cliff. Uh, the sky looks okay. Let's see. I'll put my marker here and let's see if the sun's actually moving. It does not appear to be moving, so it looks like we're good. This will be a full daylight. Looks like it's a plains. I like it. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually just going to put this book down just so that I can teleport out of here because we probably will not need this book again. All right, I have my age created. I'm happy with it. Actually, we can leave that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and escape out of here, disconnect, and I'm going to go ahead and save this world, which you won't be able to see for some reason. So okay, we're here and now. What you're looking at is on the left of my screen, you'll see that I'm in my saved worlds directory under the sandbox. And on my right of my screen, I'm under my Momilani MCEDU A version. Uh, also under my saved worlds. What you'll now notice is I have created that new dim or dimension in Mistcraft is now 23. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I want to open the folder in dim 23 that says region. There you go, region. So it created that Mistcraft age and it created these region files. This is all the geographic data, that kind of information, on any kind of blocks that were placed there. We're going to delete that from DIM, from Mistcraft Age, uh, DIM 23. Then in Sandbox, I'm going to take the region area here. You notice how there's many more of them. I'm going to copy, paste them over here. All right, what we've just done is create the entire region, and all the buildings are now over here. Okay, in the new, in the mine, or sorry, in my. Momilani EDU world. All right, next, we're going to talk about how to copy over the info blocks. So if you look here, MCEDU folder, we're also going to click on the MCEDU folder here. You'll see an info location ENINI file. This is what's in there for the sandbox. I'm going to highlight all this and hit copy. I'm going to open up the same file for my Momilani world. I'm going to scroll to the bottom, click in here. I like to leave an empty space and go like this. Good. Save that. Close this. That was now the info blocks. So any info blocks that were in my sandbox world are now in the imported world under Dimension U. Or sorry, in Dimension 23. Next, I'm going to do sign data. The same thing over here. I'm going to repeat this action. This time we're going to do sign data, go all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to copy everything in here, go to the bottom, and paste. Okay, close this one, close this and save. Excellent. Following along, great. Now, we're no longer going to need these, so I'm going to close these and we're going to head back into the world. Okay, we're heading back into my Momilani EDU world. And we will check to see if everything worked out the way we expected it to. 
If we are in the proper place, we'll be right back in our lab. Good. Our book is there. This time I'm actually going to go ahead and create, because I know, wow, it won't matter for this lesson. I'll do that other one later. So this, on the other side of this door, just so you guys are clear, this should be my sandbox book, right? Okay, put it back in here. Yeah, I like the color changes too. Step through here and poof, any second now. All right, here we go. We are currently not where we're supposed to be. It's okay. Remember I told you to write down the coordinates. So this is what I do. I go ahead and I have a schematic load and I have a schematic of a teleport box that I like to use. So I'll load that up. I'll hit paste. I'll make my typical sign of step on plate to teleport to start. Okay, now in here, what I'm going to do is actually put that TP command slash TP at a in a radius of four to those coordinates we wrote down earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the coordinates. All right. Now, if I teleport on this, cross your fingers, I should end up at my sandbox map. And look at that. There we go. We are at my sandbox map, okay? Just like the one I showed you earlier, all the trees are still there, all my border blocks, all my my numbered item blocks, all that kind of stuff is still there. The teacher build area is over there, okay? It's awesome. I come over here and you will see that all of my signs are still there. Not only that, they still work, the command blocks. Look at that, 64 ladders, a pickaxe, okay? So everything works. Just to show you, my info blocks will also still work. Look at that. All my info blocks are still there. Um, everything will still work because I've copied over the, everything properly. I did not mess up my other spawn block, okay? Because I've got this here instead of the spawn block. If I had done the spawn block thing, sometimes it messes up that teleport station that I showed you first. So that's exactly how I import custom-made maps into my already going Mistcraft world, my Momiwani main world, and so from now on what I've been doing is inst I was originally started making worlds in my Momiwani map and taking them out. That's way harder than making them individually and then importing them into us. Hope that helped anybody out there. If it did, please leave a like and uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos that I'm going to be making. And comments, anything else, suggestions, maybe I'm doing something wrong in Mistcraft, somebody wants to add to my uh, notes. I appreciate it. I'm always willing to learn new things and take care.